last name, please, Mick, and title. Yeah, uh, Mick Nyland, uh, Detective Superintendent, Regional Crime Coordinator. Uh, is this a bit of a strange one? What, what can you tell us? Yeah, shortly before 9pm last night, uh, the owner of uh, one of the properties here was doing a security check on the premises and his attention was drawn to a uh, black vehicle. Uh, he came and checked, uh, came upon the uh, black vehicle. Uh, he then saw a male person, uh, a scuffle ensued and a male person ran away. Uh, he called police. Uh, police arrived here and uh, police observed uh, what they saw was uh, uh, possibly a uh, person in the rear seat. Uh, uh, police uh, were uh, unable to raise that person. Uh, they've broken the window and they've discovered a uh, deceased female person. Is this a murder investigation? This is a murder investigation. Is there any indication on the body as to how she died? At this time, uh, uh, there will be a uh, post-mortem tomorrow. Are there any visible injuries? Uh, what I can say is that there is a post-mortem tomorrow. The man um, who, who had the scuffle with the other gentleman, is, is, he, is anyone assisting you with inquiries? We have a number of uh, persons assisting our inquiry uh, at Cleveland Police Station. How extensive was that scuffle? Would you say, was, was, there, was there punches or was it a struggle on the ground? Or? It's uh, very early in the investigation and we're taking a number of statements from a number of people. But that man has been spoken to by police, he's not on the run? At this time, we have a number of people at the uh, Cleveland Police Station. It is early in the investigation, and uh, we have a number of people at the police station. Did, did the two men know each other? Uh, it's very early in the investigation, and uh, we have a number of people down at Cleveland Police Station uh, where we're taking statements. Is it a bit strange that no one lives here? It's very isolated. Does it, does it strike you as something that's a little, little strange, a little bit off? Uh, look, uh, in this instance, we had a... Uh, a property owner uh, com coming to do a security check on his premises here. Uh, there are no persons living in this new development presently. Sorry, I've just got to clarify that. So the, the bloke that was involved in the scuffle, he has been spoken to by police. He's not a, when I'm, I'm not saying he's a suspect, just whether police have spoken to him or not. At this stage, we have a number of people at the Cleveland Police Station who are assisting with inquiry. Oh, I right. cannot confirm that the person in the scuffle is at the police station. So we've got a number of people at the police station that are, are assisting with inquiries. Are police looking for anyone in particular? Uh, at this time, we are talking to a number of witnesses. What can you tell us about the dead woman? Uh, the the uh, deceased is 35 years of age, and uh, we're currently uh, trying to contact uh, next of kin. Is she local? Uh, she is a local woman. Police have set up a, um, another site down the road, I've noticed. Is that uh, related to this? We uh, have a, uh, a further crime scene in South Street. And that's her home? or That is a, uh, uh, an address of interest to the investigating police, and that is a declared crime scene. Had anything else unusual happened last night that could be connected? Uh, I'm unaware of anything other... Uh, uh, any... any any other things happening last night? No. Were the, uh, the dog squad sent out to look for the man who ran away? Uh, after police were contacted, uh, they arrived uh, shortly uh, uh, thereafter at the scene here. And yes, we uh, uh, did have dog squad uh, attend the scene here. Did you find anything significant in the car? Uh, investigations with the motor vehicle are still underway. Thanks a lot, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.